It's time to work it on this Wednesday with the Wilson of Wow Whoa, Salon. Wow. <laughs> wow. Still celebrating an awesome weekend. You did all the hair for fashion. Uh, well, I was in charge, but we had 20 stylists and it was pretty incredible. 199 looks <sighs> each night and what a show that was. I can't believe your hands are still functioning <laughs> from doing that much hair. Y'all did a great job. Thank but you. today for Work It Wednesday, it's all about the trends. A lot of people want to stay on trend, but what if we told you some of those trends could be aging you? Well, you know, every year there are new trends. Right. Okay. And just because they're a new trend doesn't mean, well, you can. There are versions of that trend that you can do. But what you want to know is that the current looks that you are looking for there are five things that we want to look at when we consider that. Okay. Now, we're always drawn to, drawn to things that are familiar from our past. Right. Where we were comfortable, what we were happy, when was our happiest time, and you think that, oh, that's a tr I've worn that, I could do that again. But there are certain things like, we have to dress the trend. Okay, so what do you mean by that? Right? Okay. All right, one great example is you see some older people wearing parrot colored hair okay in their hair with alfred dunner drawstring <laughs> elastic waist pants it doesn't work it doesn't work together no you have to dress if you're going to wear the trend you have to dress the trend okay okay so what you're wearing also affects like if you want a crazy hairdo or something fun right you got to have the appropriate clothing too that goes right with it. and okay. and then there's your body because well you know, I used to look like a great Greek god. Now I look like a can of pop biscuits. So, you know, so you have to dress for your body style and how your body has changed. You could take the boy cut uh -huh. that they're wearing now and you can put it on somebody who was thin and but now that they're heavier, heavier. or wider hips or anything, you don't want to look like a snowman. You want it to you don't want all this roundness going on. So it has to balance your body shape. Your head shape has to balance that. And what you can do is make your hair wider or bigger where your face is narrow. If you've gotten a lot of jowl or anything, you don't right. want to draw attention and bring that hair right under there. So you just have to balance what the face does, mm -hmm. what the body does, and then there's the hair texture. Our body goes through a lot as we age. Right. So you lose moisture, the hormones come into it, your hair gets thinner, you, you know, the, you could have had straight hair and now you have wavy, wiry hair. Wiry hair. Yeah. So does that trend take more time than it did in the past or that you're willing to give to it? Mm. Because just because you can wear that, if you don't take the time for what your hair is currently doing, right? then you could have a real issue because then you go, I hate this. I can't believe they did this to my hair. Well, but we talked about that. Right. But you have to be realistic about what your face does, what your body is, what your hair texture is, and then we come to the feeling effect. Is that like just how you feel? Oh, when you what do does it do it? for you? Does yeah. it make you feel like you're walking out looking like a million dollars? But one of the things to say, you know, my friends, they're the only ones that are honest with me. Uh -huh. No, nope, not necessarily true. Your right. friends are very comfortable with you looking a certain way. Right. If you upset that apple cart sometimes, <laughs> that so you can do a trendy thing. But right. you got to pull it all together. What you got to remember, the first thing you have to remember, the only thing you have to remember, don't let the style wear you. Yes. You have to wear the style. Wear the style. This is why I love going to Wilson's too, because can you imagine if I was like, I want you to do this, and you're going to say, you're going to look like a snowman if you do. But I want like, <laughs> I'm going to tell Emily from now on, do not let me look like a snowman. <laughs> but all those trends come back. Yes. They've all been here before. The mullet. The like, <laughs> Can you believe that's even still a thing? Oh, but you know, good. the 70s had the uh -huh. shag, and yep. then it became the wolf cut. It morphed right. into the wolf cut. The 80s had the mullet, uh -huh. and now it's the mixy, the which is the combination of the pixie and the mullet. And then the butterfly cup reappears every 10 years, long layered, uh -huh. what you have. But it has its own version for those 10 years, and that's what makes it trendy. See? If you're thinking of doing something, talk to the experts first. So We'd you don't, you don't you. end up on our bad list. We'll see you <laughs> Thank you so much.